Hey guys, welcome to my resources video. Today I'm going to go over some resources that you could use for your Blender projects. So the first uh, resource I'm going to go over is blendswap.com. This is a website where you can get free models. Um, if you are going to be using models for animations or images, then you can browse through any category. If you're uh, interested in game development, you should go to the low poly section. That's when you'll, where, you'll, where you'll find suitable models. Um, so you have different uh, objects you can use. You have a bird here, um, gun, AK-47, that's a futuristic gun, uh, skeleton. Uh, the featured ones are generally the best, so keep an eye on those. Uh, you have this uh, zombie here, and it has a rig, so pretty cool. Um, licensing, you can check the licensing section and uh, see which ones you would like. So under each model you will see the licensing so if I click for example on this on Cinto right here you can see that the license uh, claim is it's under the Creative Commons and I have to give credit to the person who created this so whoever created this uh, model in this case it would be Ben Dan Danzi uh, sorry if I mispronounced his name, um, I would have to give him credit for this model um, if I use it in my projects. So that's the first website I want to go through, uh, blendswap.com for models. Next is CG Textures for textures. So uh, I use this website all the time. It's pretty good. It has a lot of car categories as you can see. Um, if we go to rock for example, you can see that it divides it into certain categories. So smooth, sediment, cliff, grassy. Uh, so you can select which one you like the most. And you can use it. If you want to download it, you can click on the picture. You have to be logged in. The account is free. Uh, certain textures, um, the higher, the high quality ones, you can get a low quality uh, copy easily. Uh, for the highest quality textures, um, you need to be a member, but I don't think you'll need the highest quality if you're making games. Um, but that's one thing to consider, um, cgtextures.com for cool textures. Next is GIMP.org. This is a free image editing program, open source. So if you want to edit a certain texture, um, create a certain texture, create an image, a button, something like that, any graphical content that you're going to include in your game that's a static image, you can use uh, GIMP to create that. Um, it's similar to Photoshop in a sense that it has the layer system, and uh, advanced tools. It's a really useful uh, program so you can download that at gimp.org. Um, I think it's available for uh, all like for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Windows... Anyways, uh, so you can check it out and see if you like it. It's a pretty simple program, easy to use. So consider that uh, gimp.org. Next is Audacity for editing uh, sound files. So audacity.sourceforge.net, sorry. Um, as you can see, it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can use this to edit audio, like for example, um, make a certain, like a ma make a voice, for example, have a higher pitch, lower pitch, slow it down, speed it up. Uh, you can do different things with it, with Audacity, reduce noise. Um, so you should check this out and. Uh, See if you like it. It's also simple to use and open source, free open source. Um, so yeah, uh, audacity.sourceforge.net. Um, next is blenderartist.org. This is a forum for uh, Blender artists. It's called Blender Artists, but it's for Blender users in, in general. So uh, as you can see, it's divided into categories. General, which is for general discussion, artwork, game engine, support, contests and archive. Um, this is a pretty useful forum. Um, it, the community is very active, uh, very clean community. Um, you don't get many trolls. Uh, you will get a lot of support. As you can see, you can ask questions. For example, for the game engine, you can ask questions. You can show your work in progress games here. Let people know what you're working on. Um, you can sh uh, make your finished games available. You can create a team and work with a team uh, to create a game. And you could uh, 
you could uh, check out game engine resources. So you have this uh, this uh, section is pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Textures, third person. Te I think it's this one. Oh uh, yeah, you have for example a third person uh, template here. As you can see, uh, generally the scripts here and the files are available for use. You have vehicle wrapper. That's for realistic uh, vehicle physics, Python tutorials, real-time texture switching, all kinds of uh, cool features that you might want to implement into your game. So uh, make sure you check that out. Um, in case you haven't noticed, my username is Daher, D-H-A-H-E-R, which is my real name. So if you see me at Blender Artist, you'll know it's me. Um, so yeah, you should uh, create an account and start using Blender Artist because it's a pretty good resource. Um, you'll learn a lot from the community. So uh, thanks for watching my tutorial guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it beneficial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials and see you guys next time.